Hey there guys, this is Ignite for Fire, and welcome back to a brand new episode of my Sky and Imagination so Let's Play for Nintendo Wii U. This is episode number 19, I believe, hopefully I believe correctly. But either way, with all that being done, let's head out for the Fire Sensei Realm, and of course I needed a Fire Sensei in order to enter it, and I just happened to have one in the Formal Tycoon Crow right here, which is why I have placed him on my portal over uh, Light Core Bumble Blast at this specific moment. But either way, um... Seems like we got a creation crystal of a tech element to stare at while we wait for this loading screen. What, ex what an exciting loading screen indeed. Hashtag just kidding, this is not a good loading screen at all. <laughs> but hey, it was short at least, you know, short and snappy and all that. It's great for you, I think, Eruptor, but not for everyone else. Well, isn't that convenient? Avril um, inventing some sort of ice creation that will um, save us all. Yep, convenient indeed. And Eruptor doesn't seem to like him by the sounds of it. Yeah, you should definitely do that alright, Avril. Of course I do, let's get into it. That's what we're scaring us for. We're here to save the world. Yes, Fire Skylanders are stronger here, which is why I'm glad to be playing with none of it. And Taekwon Crow, aka the best villain ever. Okay, so let's be freezing this stuff then without further ado. Boom. Why am I saying boom? It's just freezing stuff. It's not like it's boom exciting or anything. But then again, I suppose freezing stuff like this can be boom exciting if you uh, imagine it to be. Okay, one awesome thing is that this freezer also functions as like a damaging thing. So what you can do is you can freeze the enemy whilst attacking them at the same time. So that makes it very, uh, it makes it easier for you to defeat such enemies, to say the least. Okay, is there anything exciting anywhere over here? No, by the looks of it, no. Oh, darn, we did take damage today, but come on, we're a fire element, we shouldn't take damage to fire, right? <laughs> Apparently, if a game doesn't care about uh, that their factor, it just cares about, hey, they got hit, they, just, they deserve to get punished for it, which I suppose is fair, you know, given no scan of a particular element advantage or anything. I mean, like, all of these elemental realms have scanners of that element dedicated to it anyway, so that's enough of an advantage as it is. Okay, there's some gold over here, but not exactly any, uh, like, treasure chests, which I am very disappointed about. Okay, let's take these dudes down. There we go. Nice. Yeah, I can't remember where all of the collectibles are on this level, to be completely honest with you. But hopefully we can find them on the way. Anything down here? Huh. Looks like the kind of area where there would be something. Oh, wait. Now a treasure chest has spawned. Huh. <laughs> we almost missed this. How hilarious. Yeah, it turns out we need to defeat all the enemies before we could claim the treasure chest. Luckily, fi lucky thing I noticed it at the last minute, isn't it, guys? Oh, darn. But we did uh, fall down, unfortunately. Okay, so let's head over here and uh, plug up this geyser right here. Boom. Like that. I say boom to all the little things, don't I? But hey, it's a cool word, boom. I like that word, so I may as well say it, right? Okay, let's get freezing some more stuff right here. Or we could just be falling in instead, you know, that's also a possibility, I suppose. Don't know how, I just uh, did. Okay, there we go, there's that thing all frozen, so now we just need to start heading back. Wow, that was a pretty big explosion. We've even got a giant treasure chest there, down there to look forward to, so I'm definitely looking forward to that, to say the least. Yes, another point for Taekwon Crow indeed. Taekwon Crow, you are awesome, brah. I love his personality though, he has so much personality. Like, that's the big greatest thing about Taekwon Crow. His personality and all that. Because trust me, he has more personality than most fillers, and that's a glorious thing to see indeed. That's a bunch of treasure right there, I'm telling you, but I don't think that actually counts towards for treasure chests uh, collectibles, and if it does, then that would be good indeed. But as for how it stands right now, I believe we need two treasure chests, a troll radio, and a soul gem. So let's go on ahead and check that. Oh wait, what do you know? It did count towards the treasure chest. Huh, so we only have one treasure chest left. Let's go alongside that treasure chest. We have one soul gem and one troll radio to find. So hopefully we can find such things. Right? 
yeah, an entire extra day. How glorious is that? <laughs> oh, poor Tycoon Crow, you work, work on those emotions, buddy. But either way, now what we need to do is we need to open the vault to get our reward. And, ooh, there's some treasure over here. Don't mind if I do. Okay, nice. That's plenty of gold right there. Oh, boy, that got very, very close very, very quickly. Now, one thing I'm wondering is that does this guy still need upgrades? Oh, yeah, he still does need a view by the looks of it. A few which I can now get, that's awesome. So now my uh, Titan Crow is fully upgraded. Right when I didn't think he could get any better, he just goes and gets better. That's the thing with these senseis, half of them are good as they are already, and they aren't even fully upgraded yet. Yeah, that's how overpowered these senseis get. Oh, and there's our soul gem, so uh, glad I haven't missed that just yet. Okay, let's take out these dudes, boom. Okay, let's test, uh, test out this new one right here, boom. Oh, that's awesome right there. I like that indeed. But either way, let's go ahead and give uh, Series 2 Eruptor a second chance. Because after that performance at Scholarfield, he deserves to prove to us how overpowered he can be. Okay, uh, yes, there we go. That's exactly what we wanted. So now we can come over here and grab that. Awesome. Oh, nice. How ironic. I swap out for Tycoon Quo for a minute. I get a Soul Gem. Yeah, that's one awesome roundhouse. The fact that it's roundhouse summons fire, that shows his uh, martial arts epicness, I suppose. And then that final shot of him in the end, very mystic indeed. That's why he's got a mystic variant at the end of the day. Mystic, Taekwon Crow. Nope, that's not the one I wanted to do. That's the thing, the, the, this is not very like accurate, so it never actually does what you want it to do. Okay, there we go, there's that sorted. Boom. Ow, not cool of you person. There we go, that's exactly what I wanted. Nice. So if we head over here, we got ourselves a uh, few troll radio. So now all we have is one last treasure chest to find. Oh uh, yeah, let's do it, alright. Oh darn, messed it up completely. Yep, that is not winning at all. I can go you with that one right there, chill bills. So let's retry this now that I've readjusted the camera. Because that's the main reason why I messed up last time. I was focusing more on the camera than what I was on the troll radio. But now that I did focus on the troll radio, we managed to get it successfully. Yes, we got a winner winner chicken dinner right here. Especially since Rupta must be a great chef uh, after the chef abilities we've seen from him uh, in Skyrim's Academy. Okay, let's swap out from Eruptor before he gets like a bit lives lost because we do not want to lose a life because that way we would fail for no last lost objective, which is one thing I do not want to do. So let's go ahead and swap out the Hog World Fire and then we'll go back to Eruptor when we can find some food or something like that. Because we've come on, man, Eruptor. I know you're better than this. Everyone else knows you're better than this. You can do it. We, we, we believed in you and this is how you. and this is how you choose to use that trust. Yeah, not good enough, dude. But I'm sure he will uh, prove me wrong in a second right here. Nice job, Frino. There we go, there's him all sorted. Nice. Not what I wanted to do, game. Yeah, see what I mean? It's so inaccurate. Okay, there we go. That's what I wanted to do. And then I uh, also want to do that one. Yes, thank you. Yes, nice. That's exactly what I wanted. Boom. Man, it's so dumb, this ding right here. Okay, so let's... Nope, not that one. Thank you very much. Yes, that one. Thank you very much. Nice. Okay, there's that finally all sorted. Okay, now where is that last treasure chest? If I missed it, I'm going to be very, very upset indeed. So now let's uh, reactivate this uh, thing over here. Nope, not you. Not you. That one. Oh, darn. Go down. Down a bit. Down a bit. This one. Okay, maybe not. Hmm. Yeah, this is so inaccurate. It's really annoying. No, not that one. I want the one above it. Yes, that one. Thank you. Nice. At long last, we finally got it all done. And we can also take a selfie. Oh, man. Volcano and sunglasses? Oh, now that's what I call a selfie right there. 
and also a white freezing screen as well, apparently. This is strange. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, as you can see, I'm back at the selfie spot right here. And the thing I wanted to show you was the fact that um, the previous selfie did, in fact, actually save. Um, it's just that for some reason, after it saved, the game glitched out. But either way, as you can see, them sunglasses with that volcano in the background is most certainly an awesome selfie to save the least. But either way, let's continue with the level already. So we're going to jump back over here so we can get back up without further ado. Oh yeah, and then we also need to reshoot this thing so we can uh, get back up. Man, I hate how inaccurate this thing is. There we go, we got it at long last. But either way, um, I had to completely re-go back through the stage because of that air glitch. Uh, it was a funny glitch at the very least, but either way, it does also mean that um, Eruptor is now back at full health. So we're going to give him the second chance he truly deserves, because as I mentioned previously, that performance was not, um, you know, worthy of Eruptor, I suppose. Because trust me, he's awesome, it's just that I'm not very good at playing him in this game, and he's been incredibly nerfed as well, like all of the old characters. Because this game is stupid, and nerfing old characters. I mean, like, seriously, game, do you have to do that? Did you just have to go through and nerf all the old characters? Oh, darn, that was not cool right now. Oh, jeez, you're up, sir. <laughs> oh, I just can't give this guy the performance he deserves because of how nerfed he is in this game alongside all the other characters. It's really a huge shame, I suppose. So, uh, let's go ahead and go through this with Ember instead. Oops. <laughs> Very much on a slope right there, my uh, portal was. Okay, there we go. You see, Ember just comes in and absolutely annihilates these guys. Complete badass Ember is right here. Boom, take that, fool. Now, this Sensei Realm is actually one of the only ones that I actually remember 100% in, so I actually remember where the final treasure is this time. I didn't actually need to look up a guide, so yay me for that on that one. Because either way, uh, before we get into the vault right here, this, we've actually got to head over here to grab that treasure chest, or at least the last one anyway. And be careful not to fall off this here ledge, because that'll be a huge mistake on your behalf, most certainly. So yeah, let's go ahead and collect the gold right here. And then we can head back up here. Oh darn, I'm not looking forward to this with uh, how accurate this freeze ray is right here. Not very accurate, in case you didn't get the point. Now I just need to refreeze that one, there we go, nice. Okay, awesome, that was a whole lot more accurate than I was expecting it to be in all fairness. Quite proud of that. Okay, so now we just need to freeze this thing, I believe, and then we've gained access to the vault, which has our reward inside. So let's go on ahead and be claiming that so we can finish off the level without further ado, and barely get a no lives lost here, because the Ruptor almost lost his life, but unfortunately for us, he did not. But hey, this one I'm afraid Emma came in and absolutely owned them, Eruptor kind of like, um, weakened them for her. So it's kind of like that moment where, you know, you can't open a jar, and then somebody else opens the jar, and then you're kind of like, I loosened it for you. That's exactly what Eruptor's like with, um, this speed, uh, with this, um, level right here. And this is actually the first, uh, sensory round we've gone to that actually requires a speedrun, so we're gonna come, uh, straight back into level to do such a speedrun in a memento right here. Okay guys, I'm back, so let's get into the speedrun without further ado, and we're going to be using none other than Smolderdash, or LC Smolderdash as I called her, to represent Lightcore, I don't know why I even called her that, and I can't change the nickname because this game doesn't have nicknames anymore, because this game is stupid. <laughs> okay, and this game is actually really good, I just hate the small things he took out, because the small things is what made the previous game so good, but now that those small things are like, absent, it's not got that truly exceptional rating to it anymore and it's a huge shame really that they took out all that stuff such as all of the old characters actually being useful for nicknames for hats all that stuff they took out and it like i've said mentioned several times even it's a huge shame to say the least but either way it's time to get into this speed run without further ado and unfortunately we can't quite skip this but i'll just talk over it because um <sighs> why the hell not but either way um 
This volcano is called Mount Kilimanjaro, and that's actually a real volcano on Earth. And what it is, is it's a huge volcano that when it erupts will basically cause the extinction of mankind, because what will happen is that when it erupts, it will cause so much ash to be launched into the atmosphere that will block out the sun for like three entire days, I think it is, which would allow us to freeze to death. But luckily for us, Mount Kilimanjaro, while it is active, isn't due to erupt for another like millions and millions of years yet. So pretty much everyone who's alive now won't be around when that thing blows up. In fact, I doubt the human race will be around, um, around still back then. It'll probably be a whole new species altogether. Because at the end of the day, Mankind are probably going to become extinct someday. Uh, I know we don't want to admit it, but it's probably going to happen. I mean, like, it happened to the dinosaurs, it's only right, it will happen to us at some point. But either way, I'm sure, um... I'm sure that even if mankind was to become extinct, it's not going to be for millions of years yet, and it's definitely not going to be in our generation, hopefully that is, as long as no aliens come for us, that is. But either way, let's take this dude down. Nice, he's all sorted, and done, and stuff. And ooh, some nice, uh, burgers right there, how delicious indeed. Okay, there's that all sorted out. So now we've got two more of those, uh, thingies to worry about. Oh darn, I completely forgot to freeze. Next time, freeze before you, uh, launch, pretty much. Almost, uh, made the same mistake again right now. But almost doesn't count now, does it? Okay, so there's that all frozen, so now we've got to head back over here. Yeah, put to a torch indeed. Hey, torch is another fire scanner. <laughs> nice reference right there, small dash. Okay, there's that thing all frozen, so that's the third and final part of that there, um... ...thing completed, so we can advance without further ado. Actually, no, isn't it just faster to, like, fall down and go back here? Yeah, it is, what do you know? Okay, we're going to happily accept that right now, and then we can head back here for the cannon. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was about to say, where's our cannon gone? But it's finally decided to show up, so let's get back to the uh, mainland area without further ado. Oh, darn, we got more cutscenes. How not cool. Not cool again, not cool at all. Again with the um, nickname interrupter, not cool of you. Yeah, neither do I, but hey, today is a good thing, because at least, you know, we're not going to go extinct today. So we've got an entire, uh, another day to survive, I suppose. So wait, are you telling me we've got to come back and do the same thing every single day, so that then we don't become extinct? Oh, not cool, man, not cool at all. Okay, let's advance then. With our entirely inaccurate, uh, machinery right here. Not what I wanted. Okay, we are currently getting very much overwhelmed with these things. Okay, small dash, let's go. Okay, now that's what I call taking those dudes out. Okay, now will you guys please just leave me alone? <laughs> About time we got past those, innit? Okay, let's advance without further ado. Oh boy, here they come. Okay, there's them guys sorted out. Okay, nice, there's all that done. Not what I wanted there, uh, game. Thank you very much. Nice, there we go. Now that, however, is what I wanted. Oh, darn, messed that up entirely. Ooh, burger, how delicious. But either way, just so we can defeat these enemies at a faster pace, let's go ahead and finish this level with the one who actually started it, which is none other than Taekwon Crow. Enemies, apparently, so let's take them out, Taekwon Crow. Oh boy, we are taking a lot of hits right here. Let's uh, stop taking such hits, shall we? Yeah, you guys can't defeat Taekwon Crow that easily. Oh, 
Neither can you, son. Time for Sky Chi power. Boom. Great job there, Taekwon Crow, indeed. Yes, I will agree, that was indeed Taekwon. Whoa! So there we go, that's all uh, exploded. So now let's go ahead and collect our rewards so we can finish off the level. And hopefully the speed run for this here level was successful. But I don't see it being unsuccessful. So luckily for us, I believe we do indeed have that glorious 100%. And along with that, some ornate, ornate not shoulder pads with boosted stats. Awesome indeed, they were some ultimate shoulder guards. So, story goals have been completed, collections have been completed, and so have theirs. So that's a glorious 100% for this here level. So, I'll see you guys after the cutscene, uh, or loading screen even. Huge difference between cutscene and loading screen and all that. But either way, point is, see you after the loading screen. Okay, guys, I'm back, and that does it for this here episode of my Skyless Imaginators uh, Let's Play for Nintendo Wii U. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. But until then, peace.